You've been way ahead of the curve most of your life, were the most visible and one of the first people to be a proponent of organic food and help make it a staple of many of our daily diets. Where did your feet started chicken eats? I wasn't uh, looking for organic food. I have to say, I was, I, uh, surely that was in me someplace from uh, just living in Berkeley at that time. Uh, but I wasn't looking for that. I was looking for something that tasted like the food I had eaten in France. And I was living in France at a very beautiful time. It was really when people were going to the market uh, sort of twice a day because they wanted what was coming in at dinner time. They didn't want to use what they had for lunch. Kids came home for a two-hour lunch. Two hours. They would come home and have lunch with their families. And shops would close at that time of the day, and that's what they did. And you know, you, you stood in line for 15 minutes to get a perfect hot baguette. And, you know, you want, you, I used to go with my friends to choose a restaurant. I, I, maybe it's really educated, or how should we say, indoctrinated me about choosing restaurants because we used to go up and look at the menu that was outside and and then open the door and have a whiff. And then, you know, and then say, no, we're not going there. And, and do they have to say? And uh, I'm starving and they're doing this kind of, of, uh, of uh, really trying to really find the very best place for us to eat that night. And, a lot depended on what they they saw on the counter, what they knew about what was in season, what they were were looking forward to, and and I uh, I just took that all in. And why is buying local food fundamental to you? Uh, because of taste, because of taste, and really of liveness. Uh, I. I just brought this uh, this little cauliflower here, and I I love it. Um, I brought it from the hotel because it has the leaves on it, and this for me tells me uh, when I look at the leaves how fresh it is. When it was picked, I'm looking at the bottom. It wasn't. It was cut recently because it's not turned brown on the bottom, and I'm looking for those signs of somebody a farmer nearby. I don't want something that's, that's been hauled across the country. I'm very interested in being in time and place. And I guess that's, that's in this big picture of fast food culture, they would like us to believe that everything's available 24-7, that it doesn't matter where things come from that food should be cheap, you know? But if food's cheap, somebody's missing out. Somebody's losing, and I would guess that nine out of 10 times, it's the farmer. And he's not being paid for his work. And so I'm, I'm really interested in supporting the farmer, and that's kind of, uh, there's a little, uh, manifesto in the beginning of this book was you were seeing. And when you open it up, right at the top is Treasure the Farmer. 